Hello, I'm sure you've uh, heard people say that you should diversify your portfolio. The idea is that if you don't put all your eggs in one basket, you're able to diversify your risk, spread the risk among different securities, different stocks. And clearly those stocks should also then be diversified in terms of sectors. You couldn't, for example, say that just by buying all three telco stocks or three banking stocks or whatever it happens to be, that you are well diversified. Because of course, you are still exposed to just one industry. So how do you go about making sure that your portfolio is not just diversified, but scientifically diversified. So you really are spreading your risk among companies and among sectors. Well, to do that, I figured today we'd look at the Industry Classification Benchmark, ICB for short. In essence, this is a, uh, a tool, a system that's used by FTSE to really categorize in minute granular detail the 70,000 companies, 75,000 securities in the world and so that investors have an apples for apples comparison. In fact, you could even say that it's not just an apples for apples comparison, but a Royal Gala to Royal Gala or Granny Smith to Granny Smith apple comparison, right? So with the industry classification benchmark, you can really go down into detail. The ICB is used by stock exchanges such as these, making up about 65% of global market capitalization. There's NASDAQ at the top, the Singapore exchange is one of them. Now, how does ICB work and how does it help you diversify? Well, let me take you through this pyramid. Start at the top. And what we see there is 10 industries. That's the overall categorization, 10 industries. They are then further broken down into those super sectors that you can see there, 19 of them. And they in turn are made up by 41 sectors and 114 subsectors. So you can see that, sure enough, you can just look at the industry, but you can really filter down into some very, very specific uh, subsectors and uh, sectors and so on. The industries on the Singapore market won't surprise you. Here are the 10 uh, sector indices, starting with the oil and gas and basic materials index. And uh, on the next graphic, you'll see, among others, telecommunications, uh, the financials index, consumer services, and so on, right? So those are the broad industry indices. Let's now focus on this particular index, which is the FTSE ST Electronic and Electrical Equipment Index. And you will find this index here further towards the bottom of the pyramid in the, among the 41 sectors. So by focusing on this index, you are already getting very specific in terms of the types of industries, the types of businesses that the companies that make up this index are into. And the companies indeed, here they are, 11 of them from the uh, catalyst, uh, the, the second board and the main board, we have 18 electrical equipment makers uh, on the main board of the Singapore Exchange. And now just to give you a bit of a flavor for what sort of businesses the companies in this index are in. Here are four, five of them, the top four and uh, Korean technologies. Top four by market capitalization as identified by SGX My Gateway. And what you see here in the middle is Serene Technologies, the diamond cutting and precious stone cutting and mapping and measuring company uh, based in Israel. 100% of their revenues come from the electric uh, equipment industry. But we also have in there Chuan Hup, which still derives a very substantial 90 odd percent of their revenue from electrical equipment. 6% or so comes from other sources, but they're still in the index because they have more than 10% coming from electrical equipment. Uh, then uh, over in the, the far right corner, you see a Tyson Electric, uh, which true to its name, uh, around 60% of its revenue comes from the uh, electrical equipment. And then closer to me over here, you see GP Industries. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with GP Batteries. Well, that's part of their business, but not all of it. And down the bottom there, Kareen Technologies, only 17% comes from electrical equipment. So they all manage to find their way into the uh, sector, but they all belong to certain and different subsectors at the same time, precisely because they have diversified revenue streams. And each of these companies is different. So in essence, there are four ways that you can uh, group these indices depending on how much detail you really want to get into. 
And that really is the secret sauce to diversification. You want to be able to determine not just broad, in broad brush strokes where the revenue has come from, and therefore what risk the company might be at if that particular industry suffers a downturn, but you want to be able to get really into fine details about where precisely the revenue is coming from so that you can be properly diversified in your portfolio and your asset allocation strategy. Incidentally, if you want to know how the FTSE ST electronic and electrical equipment index is performing, this is the year-to-date performance to the 6th of September as measured by SGX My Gateway, a 16.5% increase. And if you add the dividends, actually the increase for the year so far is 21%. As always, you should talk to your licensed financial advisor before making any investment decision. And to get more information, such as what I've been telling you about in the last couple of minutes, go to seeus.org.sg, the website of the Securities Investors Association of Singapore. Sign up for the newsletter, get involved, and get smart about your investing.